Good morning, everybody. This is Evan Salinas with Hernandez and Associates. And I'm Estelle Hernandez with our Hernandez and Associates. Thank you for joining us on another YouTube video. I hope that you've watched some of the other videos and you've enjoyed the content and that it's been helpful. And if not, give us a call. We'll, we're here to answer your questions. And um, like I always say, we're here working for you. If you have a TBC permit you would like to apply for, whether it be a new one or you need help renewing your current one, give us a call 713-514-4801. So we like to answer your questions that you give us. Um, you know, like I mentioned in the last video or previous videos, you know, you business owners, y'all get pretty creative with some of the questions uh, that you ask us. We love it. We appreciate it. Uh, definitely pushes us sometimes. So we figure if uh, some of you had this question, because it's been asked several times, that maybe um, more of you would benefit from knowing the answers to some of these frequently asked questions. This time, the question is, can I get a TABC permit for a storage unit? Hmm. That's a good one. And and it depends on the type of permit. I mean, you, most, you usually don't go and get a storage permit and open a restaurant. You know, um, you don't have a commercial kitchen in there. I mean, you know, but say you were a wholesaler and you need to keep inventory well you need you can you could if it if you can get um certain storage units i've had some where people go in and try to get a, a unit and it doesn't have any electricity running through it you know they can't set up a, a little office in the front of the warehouse and that's what you would need you know have like a little at least some sort of a office area uh, you know with a phone desk kind of thing and then your warehouse could be in the back That's the only type of permit that off the top of my head that I can think of that Would you know it would be okay because you're keeping inventory in that in that warehouse and you have a little office in the front um, So and then besides that when you are a wholesaler of course you still don't forget about the distances that we always talk about um, and we've talked about in other videos you know, the school, church, daycare, be aware of all of that. All depends on also what city you're in and the ordinances. Mm. Don't forget about that video. So we have other videos that go over different things and they, you know, kind of all of them, put them together and, um, you know, it's all good information. So pretty much the answer we would say is no with a little asterisk that would be a very rare instance which it would be okay to maybe get. Mm -hmm. And that one very asterisk uh, scenario could, I say could, I don't want everybody uh, thinking that you guys get a storage unit because it's a very rare instance which you could, could be a wholesaler. Mm -hmm. And remember, like Estella just mentioned, with the wholesaler, you're in the distribution tier. I don't know if we're gonna bring up the picture of the, the tiers here. You can't. If you're in the distribution tier, remember your customer is going to be the retailers who then sell it to the consumers. You yourself cannot sell it to the consumers. So you got to think about the business you would have. If you were on the distribution tiers, you'd be selling to restaurants, bars, anybody on the, re the retailers tier. And manufacturers, people who are making product would be then selling to you. You would not be manufacturing product out of a storage unit. So you have to understand very specific criteria people business that would be able to be okay with this and it would be different too if it was like a warehouse because i have seen some yes. say brew pub uh locations that are, most of them look like a big warehouse that have you know has been built out so they can mm -hmm. produce you know this beer right. um, and have all those tanks and stuff like that so that's totally different that's like a warehouse uh, versus, not a storage not unit. Not a storage unit. Yeah, because people have asked you know, us specifically yeah. storage units. You mm -hmm. can Google what a storage unit is yeah. and a warehouse, totally different things. So. And I've had people ask me before I get my winery permit or before I get my wholesaler's permit, you know, can I start storing over in this, um, you know, storage unit? Yeah. And so then that's a whole other conversation, yeah. <laughs> other video. But just stay tuned. Hopefully we answered the question there. So can you? Probably not. If you have a TBC permit you need to apply for, be sure to contact us, 713-514-4801. And website works good now. 
Check us out on the website using the link below. I am Evan Salinas with Hernandez and Associates. And I'm Estella Hernandez with Hernandez and Associates. Thank you for joining us on another YouTube video. Call us with your questions. We'll try to help you as, as best we can. We don't have an answer. We'll get one for you. And we're always here working for you.